This is what happened to the third wife of Sultan of Brunei after the divorce. She was married to one of the richest men in the world, Sultan of Brunei. She consented to becoming his second wife. She had two beautiful children and had a wealthy life in the largest mansion in the world despite being 33 years younger. But, as Rina's master hockey started over after the divorce, she lost everything in a quick second, including children and expensive titles. What has changed in her life since then? And 13 years later, the world's richest monarch was divorced? Bear with us till the end, give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's begin. Sultan Hassan al Bolkia has been in charge of Brunei for 55 years. He is a dictator who has accumulated immense money from the sale of oil and gas. Forbes estimates his wealth to be $30 billion, making him the world's richest monarch. Sultan Hassan al Bolkia became famous around the world for his excessive spending, in a house with more than 1,700 rooms. The Istana Nurul Iman Palace is the world's largest residential palace, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. The palace, which measures 200 square meters in size and cost $1.4 billion to build, was completed in 1984. The Sultan owns the largest collection of automobiles in the world. He has more than 7,000 luxury vehicles. Among them were a large number of Bentleys, Ferraris, and Rolls Royces. The focal point of the collection is a magnificent Rolls Royce with a gold finish. The Sultan typically uses it for important occasions. He also has the financial capacity to spend up to $20,000 on a single haircut. His wealth is incredible. You can tell that the Sultan enjoys an opulent lifestyle in his personal life as well. Even though he was still a young man, he married Penjurin Anak Seleha, his first cousin. The absolute king, however, swiftly decided to take Miriam Abdulaziz, a former stewardess, as his second wife. Since her second marriage was a disaster, she was compelled to leave the palace. A few years later, the Sultan experienced another love affair. A young, stunning Malaysian TV journalist named Azrinas Mezer Hakim. The monarch was not embarrassed despite the fact that she was 33 years his junior. Because Brunei last allowed a man to have more than one wife and he still loved his previous wife, he was also unable to divorce her. The little girl had to assume the role of the second wife and their wedding was conducted in total secrecy. All that was known about this marriage was gossip. Azrinas had only been 25 at the time, while her spouse had recently turned 60. The ages are so far off that initially, the Sultan was simply necessary to tell everyone the truth. It was challenging to believe that this was true love. The Sultan's new wife was beautiful and intelligent. A young woman of such extraordinary beauty was deserving of being proclaimed Queen of Reen and residing in an opulent palace, and she received various professional distinctions while working as a journalist for a Malaysian TV station. However, it didn't appear that the little girl and the 60-year-old king were dating. He also had a strong bond with his first wife, with whom he spent the most of his life. On occasion, the Sultan will attend official events with both of his wives. Obviously, we are unable to learn what transpired in the palace's shadows. However, judging by the photos that were taken at the time, Azrina seemed to be extremely agitated and depressed. Any woman's willingness to share her husband with another person is improbable. The Sultan's young wife, Azrina's Hakim, was only able to reside in a sumptuous palace for a total of five years due to the fact that she was pregnant with both of the Sultan's children at the time of their marriage. A girl named Princess Amira and a boy named Princess Abdullah Kiel. The unexpected revelation of Sultan Hassan al Bolkiah's divorce came in the year 2010, and it is believed that the young queen did not succeed in establishing herself in the large royal family, which is full of people who are prone to plotting. The Sultan's first wife, as well as his many children from his first and second wives, did not welcome the new member of the family, and you have no choice but to acknowledge that the Sultan's eldest wife, Queen Saleha, was the only one in his entire life to take control of the palace. This is the reason why it is much more practical for the Sultan's oldest wife to have done so. Nobody knows for sure, but it's possible that she had anything to do with the subsequent divorces of his second and third spouses. But now that she has her way, there is no question that she is the lone lady in his life. This is due to the fact that Brunei's king keeps the details of his personal life a secret. We are unable to come to any conclusions regarding the specific factors that led to the divorce. The fact that Azadi Nas was coerced into fleeing the palace and relinquishing her royal titles, however, cannot be denied. Because of the division that occurred, not only did she lose her children, but she also lost her comfortable lifestyle. The Sultan came to the conclusion that it would be best for the children to stay in the palace with him and to carry on making the most of their royal privileges. The previous Queen of Brunei has utterly misplaced all of her possessions. The fact that the Sultan would not permit her to visit her children was the single worst thing that could have occurred to her. Both of her children were two years old at the time, but her daughter was the younger of the two. Her son was four. Just try to put yourself in the mother's shoes as she endures the pain of being separated from her cherished children. 
As a result of this, Rina was forced to go to Malaysia and start a new life there. She is still terribly homesick for her children and on their birthdays, she sends heartfelt birthday greetings and wishes them well. Following the conclusion of their marriage, the former brunette queen disappeared from public view for the next eight years, and it wasn't until 2018 that her second marriage came to the attention of the general public. She tied the knot with Abdul Hamid, a companion throughout her whole life. When they chose to get married, they had only been dating for a year but had known each other for a long time. Neither of them had any regal titles or perks for spouses or average men, but they did decide to get married anyhow. On the other hand, Eddie is aware that despite this, appears to be in a good mood. The happy couple is parents to two little girls. The family does things like travel and arranges vacations together in addition to spending a lot of time together. As Venus has established herself as a prominent figure in the media, people follow her life on Instagram and look to her for guidance because she has a considerable number of followers there. Despite the fact that she does not now hold any royal titles or possess tremendous money, it is clear that she is overjoyed. At this point in her life, she has a relatively uncomplicated but full existence. However, she still goes through tremendous pain every time she thinks about her children who were killed by Prince Abdullah while they were staying in the palace in Brunei. Despite the fact that her oldest child is now 16 years old. The age of Princess Amira in years is 15. After recalling them, the mother must have found the answers to a number of problems, as he is aware that he is not permitted to touch or kiss his children. And the only thing that we can hope for is that when they become adults and are able to make their own choices, they will go see their mother and forgive her for the times when she was not there for them when they were younger. This is the only thing that we can hope for. As you can see, living in the most extravagant palace in the world with the wealthiest monarch in the world did not make this mother happy. This is because having unrestricted access to your children whenever you want to embrace them is the genuine sign of wealth, not having gold and money in bank accounts. Therefore, make the most of this opportunity while you still can. Don't you think it's too cruel not to let your ex-wife see your kids? Let us know what you think about it. Subscribe to keep watching great stuff like this.